What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and if you kinda hear a hiss of the air conditioner, I apologize, it's hot in Southern California. We're breaking records and I'm not turning the air off. But with that said, I'm back again with my little helper. You guys haven't seen her in a while. This is my daughter, she's eight now. Can you believe it? I started appearing on the channel when I was three, and yeah, eight. You were three, and now you're eight. That's five years. Anyway, this is little Jay. She's gonna help me out with talking about the new Kano Pixel Kit, which is designed to make uh, programming fun and easy to understand while giving you, well, a light panel to play with. So huge thank you to Kano for sponsoring today's video and sending this over for us to take a look at. And you know how we do it. We like to just put it together and play with it. And then uh, we talk about it. We talk it. about it. That's what we do, we talk about it. Let's do it. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Okay, this was a lot of fun to play with. We spent the last couple of hours messing around with this. We put it together, going through the challenges. It teaches you some pretty cool stuff. Now, you can obviously play with it with some of the stuff that's built into there, some of the games, but the, what this is really meant to do is to download the app to either your Mac device or your Windows device, and you can start to learn how to program on this. So what we got going right now is just the audio visualizer that's built in, but we had some apps that you actually developed. She did a little talking app uh, where when you talk, Chatterbox. Right, so let's put that on here real quick. So when you talk, the little face will basically talk and animate the sounds that it hears. And it teaches you how to create that app and you can download it to the device, uh, but you can create all kinds of things. Either follow their tutorials and their challenges, create your very own, it's absolutely endless of what you can do. You can save the app on the website and then you can download it to your device later and constantly switch it. I made a little critter, kind of looks like a cat mm, thing. That one. Has a purple dress, and you can move it with the. It's not on. I think. Yeah, you gotta move the joystick. Move the joystick. There you go. There's a little cat. You gotta go sideways with it. It looks like go. a cat. She thinks it's a cat. I'm not sure exactly what kind of critter it is, <laughs> but you make it. You animate it by making it move side to side. Uh, very basic stuff, but the cool part is, this. This is. This is meant to make learning fun, and specifically learning coding, because it takes a a very basic approach to code, it makes it simple to understand because it's all visual, where you put together and plug in different blocks and you have different values and variables and just it's endless 
on what you can do with it. So the tutorials are very good at guiding you to understand how all of that works. Now I worked in a software environment for nearly 10 years, so obviously this is stuff that I already understand, but her learning it or watching her learn it for the first time as an eight year old who's never been exposed to programming whatsoever and seeing how fast she picked it up was pretty awesome. For instance, we programmed this weather app right here. And as you can see, it's sunny because it's set to Los Angeles and it's sunny here like year round. Uh, but the cool thing is it shows different types of weather based on the conditions. So what are the, what are the weathers that it would fetch? Um, snowy. Which we'll never get in Los Angeles, let's face it. Sunny, which we have on right now. Cloudy and rainy. Right, and so the cool thing is you can change the fetch data and it will change the weather based on the location. So just like if you put a zip code into your phone, uh, but the cool thing is this taught her, this app was not just about building the weather, it was about understanding if then statements. So you're kind of being tricked into learn things, you don't even realize you're learning. And now she understands exactly how if then statements work. So give an example of the if then statement. For the weather app, there was if it's snowy, then show snow. If it's sunny, then show sunny. If it's rainy, then show rain. If it's, I forgot the other one. Cloudy. Cloudy, then show clouds. So the cool thing is all of that's in the same string, but it's based on the data that it's fetching, and then it will use those keywords to display the image based on an if then. And she's eight and she understands that, but she didn't know she understood that until I explained to her what the actual if then was and what that block looked like. So it was really, really cool. And this is the kind of device here that kids and adults, all ages, anyone that's interested in learning more about programming should definitely check out. We had a lot of fun with the Kano computer. And the cool thing about this is there are other products that are available from Kano that all tie together as an ecosystem that can be used to control each other. They have a camera device that you can build, a microphone or uh, a speaker device. This was a very good start and it's not that expensive whatsoever. And, and there's the computer one that um, controls all of them. Well, you know, you can use the Kano computer, but what we did was we downloaded the app directly from their website and that's where you do all of the learning and you plug this into your computer, either Mac OS or Windows. And then you can do everything on the computer and then you save it to your device and you could take it with you and play with it. So she's got her little critter on there that she likes and you can rotate those out. All of the things you work on are saved on the website and then you can save them to your device. And we have multiple USB ports on here because there are other attachments that you can get for this. Uh, it comes with the tilt sensor, but there's other things you can get for it. It's all listed in the back of the manual. It's worth checking out. And there's other things that you can unlock based on the challenges you complete. So there's more to gain by continuing through all the tutorials and figuring those out. So yeah, there's all kinds of cool things. You got a climate sensor, a sound sensor, a gesture sensor, so you can actually control it with motion. That's mm -hmm. cool, we should check that out. A tripwire sensor. Make a sign that activates when someone goes by. <laughs> now she'll know when her little sister goes and sits at her desk. Anyway. Yeah. So that's that. Um, I hope you guys definitely check it out. Link down in the description below. A huge thank you to Kano once again for sponsoring today's video. And I think that this is something that is great for all ages. And this is coming from an advanced user myself. Anything you want to say before we go? Peace. Really? <laughs>